The only difference between the AI and human today is thinking and feelings. But the thinking is already now a part of the AI. So with the latest model of the open AI O1 that is a deep thinking added as a part of the model itself. So with this new model O1 it is designed in such a way that the model itself is able to do the deep thinking on its own. So suppose if you are asking one of the prompts then the AI itself will be able to rethink and rehydrate the prompt itself until you get the proper results. So if you are not following up with the new model O1 releases there are a bunch of videos available to showcase how that O1 model has been used and what are different ways that this O1 model has been used. It is particularly tailored for the deep thinking purposes. So if we take some of the examples what this model has been used for is it is mainly used for the coding purposes to generate the code a better code than the previous models so they have defined that the O1 model for coding purposes is much better it is scored around 89 percentile in terms of the previous models so you will be able to generate code in better quality whatever the input that we are giving it will be able to understand better the other areas where O1 model can be used is for physics, for quantum mechanics, for your PhD level questions, for PhD thesis, your science related questions, math, your cognitive practices and much more. So this model is been designed specifically for your deep thinking. It might not be better off with whatever the day to day activities or day to day prompts that we use. It might not be better off with GPT-40 model in terms of how we do daily searches for web searches and everything but this is particularly better for deep thinking so they have a bunch of different benchmarks they have posted here like how this particular model is better in terms of the previous models and what kind of data that you can expect from this model in terms of the different benchmarks also it is also mentioned that this models will be relatively slower in terms of giving the output because it is doing a deep thinking it is identifying your prompt and identifying what all things that needs to be added as a part of the output so it goes through the rigorous different reason tokens so what it generates is it generates the reason tokens internally and it goes through the bunch of reason tokens and then you get a proper output it does not directly give you the output based on the prompt that we pass so for showcasing this there's an example given that it is asking for the list of countries that has letter a in the third position so it is identified that here you can see that with gpt 4 you will be able to get answer faster but those answers may not be accurate this is what we have seen in the previous model as well but with o1 model there are a bunch of different o1 models as well we'll talk about later but with o1 models it will be able to identify that thought process like what is exactly has been asked what is the prompt it will divide that prompt into different reasonings and all those reasonings will be reprompted again and again internally to give the proper output whatever we have asked doing so it will take some more time to complete the process but the accuracy of the result that we will be expecting will be much higher so there are a bunch of different videos available to showcase the capabilities of O1 models in terms of different respective fields. I was mainly interested in the coding perspective so there are a couple of videos where it shows how it was able to generate the uh, HTML code for presenting the transformers in terms of the AI model and there was one, one video where it was showcasing how the snake game was created with the different prompts and how the thought process was there with that particular model. So I will link that for you to go through and understand and I will also link the links for you to go throughout about each and everything to learn about the O1. So there are three different models available that is the O1 mini, O1 preview and the O1. So currently O1 model is locked out but you have the capability of using O1 mini and O1 preview. O1 mini is particularly designed for coding perspectives where you will be able to use this model only in terms of the coding perspective so if you are having a task that is particularly needed for coding then we can use this model where it is trained in such a way that we will be able to get the coding perspective or coding related outputs much faster o1 preview is generally trained for the different fields as well that we can use but o1 is the flagship model available and currently it is not out yet and if you are an chat gpt plus member you will be able to use it or if you are a level 5 api user you will be able to use this models for your testing purposes i'm currently not the level 5 user of OpenAI, but i'll try to get the chat gpt plus and I'll try to explore the O1 model. Let me know what you want to know about the O1 model and what particular things that you want to 
test it out we can go and test those things as well now with the addition of these models as the models are able to think better i will be a little bit skeptical like how this particular models will be used let me know your thought as well on this own models like what are your thoughts and we can have a healthy discussion in the discussion forum this is all i wanted to share with you if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon to get notified of all this new videos i'll be making more videos on ai and also how to utilize ai in our day-to-day -day activities day-to-day -day job if you have any suggestions regarding any of the things then do let me know in the comment section below if you want to go through the entire ai sections and how to implement ai with spring boot then this is the playlist that you can go through i'll see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye